so I'm a programmer but I haven't programmed that much lately but there's this problem which I really want to solve it's called the Sudoku problem so we basically have a 3 by 3 box with 9 rows and 9 columns and the objective is just to solve it So like for every column, there must be a unique number and for every row, there's a unique number and for every box, there's a unique number. Usually when I start programming something big, like this Sudoku solver, I try and become calm. And I also try and become pragmatic. But most importantly, I always try and be patient. And I usually have different personalities when I start programming. So now you might be wondering, with these personalities, I should be fine in programming this problem. Well that's where you're wrong, because that's not how programming is like. I've said it once and I'm gonna say it again. Sometimes all you need in programming is just to be patient and be able to ask for help. Okay, so I think I got it. To solve the Sudoku problem is basically just backtracking. When you have an empty number in a Sudoku puzzle, you just try all possible combinations until the number works and then you go to another empty number and then you try all possible combinations. But if that doesn't work, that means your previous number has a problem, so then you just change the previous number.
Okay, so that was cool. I just want to say thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, hopefully this video was helpful in some way. It was fun making it, I guess. Uh, but um, I'm probably going to take a bit of a break and manage making videos somehow. Because uni is starting and I gotta focus on that. So, yeah, that's cool, I guess. Um, yeah, cool. Sudoku. That's nice. Thanks for watching.